All right, we've got five holes to drill today, seven feet deep each. I've been uh, holding the sauna tubes up a couple inches from the bottom. That usually creates less problems. If there's a light cave in at the bottom of the hole or something like that, it can be hard to get the sauna tube in and out. If it's too tall, it's really hard to get out and cut off. So I've just been holding them a couple inches off the bottom and should work out in the end. ground mount system we went with the Sinclair Skyrack 2.0 I believe they're based out of Michigan uh, kind of a slick system it's season adjustable uh, that's actually an option I think it was like five six hundred dollars more for season adjustable which I think is a no-brainer um, if you're spending all the money on the system uh, why not spend a little bit more and then you can adjust it and maximize your solar output so these posts, we're pouring them into sauna tubes. There's also the option, they sell a post driver for a skid steer that will drive these in, as some of you may have seen on other YouTube videos. All right, everything's ready to go. We are waiting on concrete. So these holes go seven feet down. I may have mentioned that earlier. Uh, the posts were too short. I believe I showed how I added a piece of wood on the bottom, treated wood on the bottom of each post to help support it until the concrete is around it. Kind of hard to see uh, due to the lighting down there. But then I was concerned that when we poured these, it would move around. So I poured a bag of uh, sacrete down each hole and with hopes that it will help secure things. So I just dumped a bag in and I sprinkled some water on it and it's probably only like a half inch or a one inch crust at most on the bottom, but hopefully enough to keep this post from moving. All right, this is our combiner panel for our inverters. Um, I brought a full 200 amps out here due to the fact it is 350 feet from the electrical service on the building. Um, and after voltage drop calculations and whatnot, it basically resulted with 200 amp wire coming out here um, due to the fact that 
175 amp wire would have been enough. However, it is very hard to find at this moment. Um, I'm sure it's out there somewhere, but I called a few places and they didn't have it. So um, there will be two 7.7 .7 kW inverters on this system, one on each side of the panel. Um, I did run a conduit out for data or internet or ethernet or whatever you want to call it. And I also have a three quarter inch for just a standard outlet if required for a internet booster or something like that. Um, some people might ask why I didn't come out of the panel with the outlet. Uh, the inspector in the area said that that panel can only be used for solar inverters and nothing more. So it kind of seems wrong, I guess, but so we brought a conduit out here just for an outlet. So I'm not sure if we're going to need that or not. Some of these inverters actually have a um, 120 volt outlet built into them for um, well, programming and potential Ethernet purposes. Um, however, I'm not going to rely on that because a lot of the inverters nowadays are coming with missing some of the parts that they're supposed to come with, like some of the Wi-Fi cards and things like that. So, basically, planning for the worst here, running conduits just in case. Well, we're going to plan on using them, but if all the Wi-Fi components worked as they should. Technically, you wouldn't need them, but um, we're quite a distance from the building, so I'm expecting that we're gonna need them in this scenario. So, we got one pipe from here over to that post, and this other pipe with the white tape goes over to that post. So, it'll be uh, split up uh, three strings on each 7.7 .7 kW inverter. If you go with the Canadian solar panels, the holes in the solar structure are actually drilled for these panels. I believe, don't quote me on this, they accept up to a 450 watt Canadian solar module. So pretty slick deal. The holes are all notch or um, slotted. So there's a little bit of forgiveness when you're adjusting your panels and trying to level everything out. So the system is seasonably adjustable. Um, so you can, adjust anywhere from 15 to 55 degrees so pretty slick setup 